how to be pretty even on your worst days. These are some things that can help you along the way to your self-love journey. How to look pretty, okay? So we start with working on your aura, on the energy surrounding you, your person, your body. We're working on the inside out. This is what projects pretty vibes. Do some reading, do meditation. For me, I like to be Holy Spirit filled, feel strengthened and inspired, all those great things. That way when I go out, I'm confident in my beliefs, in my values, I'm concrete in that regard. And that radiates. I would say also to be pretty and to feel pretty, to look pretty, what you put in is what you get out. You are what you eat. That's what they tell me. Try to think about what you're putting in your body and it shows on the outside if you're a healthy person, you eat well, you take care of your health. If your kidneys and your liver are not doing their job, it's gonna show on your skin, it's gonna show in your eyes, it's gonna show on your tongue, things like that. If it's smoking, maybe quit smoking. Hygiene is very important, so take a shower smell clean look clean brush your teeth clean your mouth and take care of that mouth order so that when you're out there you're not worried about your breath take mints if you need to when you feel clean and good about your appearance you will project that to the people that you meet and you will feel pretty and you will look pretty drink plenty of water and we'll Keep your skin looking glowy and beautiful, okay? Now, dress in flattering colors. What does that mean? Do I have to wear a bunch of colors and look like a rainbow or Ronald McDonald? I don't know. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, find out what your skin undertone is. What colors flatter your skin? I'm brown but I know that I have a pink skin undertone. So anything that is pink, pastel colors suit me, blacks, whites suit me, neutral colors usually fit anybody. If you're not sure of your skin tone, your undertone, go ahead and try basic neutral colors. If you have a warm skin undertone, you can wear bright colors, your oranges, your yellows. If you're actually cool toned, wear your whites, wear your grays, wear your blacks and so on. Knowing your skin undertone makes it easier for you to select clothes that will suit you or that will flatter your skin tone. So it just makes picking outfits easy. If you are more warm undertoned, gold look really good on you. You could also be neutral like me. Sometimes I'm a bit neutral so I can wear silver and it still looks really good on me or I could wear gold and it looks really good on me. Rose gold is also pretty. But anyway, figure out where on that spectrum you're at. It's just important to educate yourself about your skin, your body and everything like that. What works for you? Wear clothes that flatter your body shape. So are you a pear shaped body? If so, find clothes, research on what suits your body. I have more of an hourglass figure, so I know fitted clothing looks really good on me. Anything that accentuates my waist, so is more slimming at the waist. Regardless, I try to find what's flattering my body at that time. When you look good and you look well-groomed, even babies will want to be near you. They're attracted to nice looking things and people like we all are. It's, it's not anything to get into our feelings about. It's just human nature that we're attracted to beautiful things. And when you surround yourself with beautiful things, you feed your mind with beautiful things, positive things that help you grow and motivate you, you act and start, you know, behaving in a pretty way. Have manners. So the basic, please, thank you, excuse me, you're welcome. All those things make you look pretty and seem very pretty. Your behavior needs to reflect 
a good heart that is what makes you pretty another thing that will help you feel pretty and look pretty is giving yourself positive affirmations every single day in the mirror when you look at yourself say some nice things you need to just encourage positivity that creates a nice aura that people want to be around we accept constructive criticism we like good advice constructive advice but we are not going to take people who put us down who say negative things that make us feel bad about ourselves this is a big point because you'll end up getting consumed with social media and things you have to change about your body and all these things and you think that if you change something on your body that's what's gonna make you look pretty and make you feel good about yourself and that's not always the case and people do take that too far I think if you have a good standing stable self-love self-confidence first then you can know yourself and not be consumed with what's happening around you too much following trends and what everybody else is doing minding other people's business and making permanent changes to yourself based on how other people see you or what they think of you so surgeries it just gets too much don't leave the house or don't stay out with dry cracked lips no that does not look pretty it should not be comfortable i don't think it is i can't stand dry lips okay so moisturize your lips because honestly when people meet you this is like their first point of attraction on meeting you so let me speak of myself when i meet someone the first things that i notice are their skin their teeth and their smell not in that order it's different whatever stands out more but that's basically it so i try to make sure those three things are in check because if i notice them on other people i'm sure they notice them on me as well so it's important to keep your lips moisturized so that when you smile it's a pleasant smile have a good makeup routine that is best for you so it means that works with your time frame and that fixes what you need fixed or covered the basic things are a little bit of powder usually i don't even wear foundation because my skin's good like that but if your skin needs a little bit of a cover-up or a powder don't be ashamed put on that little powder put on mascara and a little lip gloss or lip product whatever it is those are usually the basics put on earrings whether small or big whatever earrings just make you look more put together and have your hair in check if you like to go to the hair salon and you get your hair done every month every two weeks whatever situation your hair needs that's what you need to do because hair is a big part of grooming have that sorted out so every time i buy lip products i have to buy the whole set i probably have hundreds of lip products not just lipstick lip liners lip glosses matte semi matte and it's just it's just an obsession of mine but the important thing is to know not to have crusty looking lips so all these little things all come together just have a routine that makes sure that you have all the bases covered so do you need to set a date to go get your nails done every two three weeks what are your needs for your nail care I try to do my own nails when I need to. Quick question, in the nail salon, when they're dipping your toes or your nails or your fingernails in the SNS powder, that means, let's say 25 people have used that SNS powder that day, then they use it again tomorrow on 25 more people. How many people were dipping their fingers in that SNS powder? I don't understand it's just gross and people have come back and said they have had infections 
So the drill that you used on her toes, is that the same drill you're using on my fingernails? Anyway, because of those reasons, I limit the amount of times I go to a beauty salon and I am watching those nail technicians like a hawk making sure that they're sterilizing their equipment. So far, I've been happy doing my own nails at home. You just buy bits and pieces on Amazon, you know, the UV lamp light, the nail polish and do it yourself. That way, you're guaranteed not to get infections from other people's hygiene problems, okay? Now, just have all of that set and it's all about routine, consistency, it's about getting your beauty sleep, it's about caring for your skin and we cannot forget fragrance. It is important to smell nice when you go out. It isn't, smell nice all the time, but the point is when you're out and you're meeting people and you are talking about feeling good and confident, how you smell is a big part of that. Um, take care of your scent so that means drink plenty of water you know look after your private areas wear cotton cotton is God's gift to humans okay wear cotton underwear so that you can breathe in the right places and that's all part of taking care of your order your mouth care wear some perfume when it's appropriate and deodorant and all the basic things that we should know by now as adults but sometimes you know we need reminding but i love fragrance i think it makes an impression and people do judge you based on all these things how you smell how you look how you present yourself and it's important to not give them anything negative to say you know within your control of course so yes have a pretty mind meaning positive thoughts project kindness love peace and you will look and feel pretty i urge you to take all these points into consideration because you can go from zero to 100 if you apply these things or you could go from 100 to zero if you completely do the opposite of what i'm saying trust me when i tell you that it is important to make a good first impression grooming is important the smell um, on yourself is very important whether you're meeting people for the first time like you could miss opportunities when you're just looking and smelling the wrong way don't get into your feelings about this this is just human nature we're all attracted to beautiful things and it's those first three seconds of someone seeing you that first impression you always want to represent yourself well you always want to bring your best to the world and that is all part of it people do treat you differently when you are looking good and smelling good opportunities open whether at work or out in the community look you go shopping looking a mess people are not going to treat you as nice as if you were dressed really nicely smelling great looking like you belong there look i could go on and on and on about this but for today we're gonna leave it here and i hope i was informative in one way or another entertaining